All right, guys, today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite fixed blade and folder for the month. And uh, like I said, I try to make, you know, regular content a little bit, uh, some regular content. And I think that this will be a fun series to talk about my favorite folder and favorite fixed blade of the month. So hopefully I'm trying to release this kind of middle of the month to explain, you know, like what have been my favorite carry or kind of go-to knives for folders and for fixed blades for that month. Obviously I do have a lot of knives, so it's not like I'm just carrying this knife throughout the entirety of the month, but it is definitely one of them that is making a priority. And honestly, usually just these picks boil down to like, what am I having a lot of fun carrying and what do I enjoy EDCing for knives? So first off, um, so this one's kind of going to be almost like a throwback or nostalgia for me because I've had both of these knives or a form of these knives before or for a while. So the first one for me is the folder and this is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Now the Paramilitary 2 itself probably isn't super exciting. This one is a cutlery shop exclusive. That's why it has these, you know, dual colored um, handle scales or G10 scales and it has the CPM Rex 45 you guys can see there um, and so it does have you know a good steel uh, kind of custom handles just a little bit of a fun kind of unusual knife but uh, overall it's been a lot of fun to carry because I originally had a PM2 and I used to carry it every so often but it was never really my favorite knife um, and so I it ended up kind of being pushed to the wayside and ultimately I really wanted to, to kind of get one back I was like hey you know that might be a really nice knife to have back I think it'd be fun if nothing else so I did get one back and I got this guy, of course, and I've honestly really enjoyed um, EDCing it because it has been a ton of fun to carry, to use, and I forgot how comfortable the PM2 is to hold, whether you're in its normal position or its choked up position. It is a very comfy knife to hold or to handle for uh, extended periods of time to do a lot of tasks. The blade shape is really good for just generalized work. And so I've really been enjoying just carrying this guy and it's been a lot of fun. Not to mention too, very fidgety. It fires out very fast, of course, closes with ease, has that nice compression lock. So this is a really fun knife to carry and to use so i've been using it a lot carrying it a lot and it's been one of those that in the drawer of knives i look at and like you know what i want to carry that one today more than a few or quite a few other knives including the hinder xm18 which is like probably still my favorite knife but this one is giving it a good run for its money because this one definitely isn't as expensive or as high end or as you know well finished but it's just a really nice knife to use to carry and uh yeah i really enjoy using it as far as like edc tasks go uh so that's the paramilitary 2 like i said this one's a cutler shop exclusive in cpm at, or cpm rex 45 and uh yeah that is a fun knife and probably my favorite folder for the month Okay, now going over to one that uh, I've debated keeping and debated, you know, selling before and still kind of do sometimes, but this is the Pole Force November 1. Now, this is probably one of my oldest knives in the collection. I've had this guy for, uh, or since 2013, so nine years now. I've had it for a very long time and I have used it for a long time. And honestly, for as long as I've had it and as long as I've used it, it's really not too shabby or as far as condition goes, it's, it's really in good shape. And I've used this thing initially is kind of an outdoor survival knife and it certainly does good at that but usually I carry it for kind of an everyday carry um, fixed blade now I will say this one when I was looking at it and kind of pulling it out of the knife drawer um, and thinking about it I was like man this one definitely could use a touched up edge so hopefully you guys can see I touched up that edge um, on the edge or not edge pro apex touched it up on the wicked edge and gave it a nice dull mirror polish and so I I brought her back to life and it is looking snazzy i will say that nylock steel really took a good edge and uh, it is it is sharp I, I will say i like it quite a bit and really i like my wicked edge quite a bit to be honest um i feel like there's been a lot of knives if i pull a knife out of you know a container or a box or whatever um or like out of my drawer and i'm like man that edge doesn't have a wicked edge on it yet and so i just use it as an excuse to sharpen knives
knives on the wicked edge but this one it definitely needed a, a good sharpening like it wasn't dull by any means but it wasn't as sharp as it could be so certainly i had the capacity to polish this blade up and i did so really do like the way that came out uh, that edge is nice and pretty in my opinion so anyways this is the pull force november one like i said it is made in nylox and this one is made by lion steel hopefully you guys can see that it's really hard to see but it's right there so this is uh marketed by pull force but back in the day it was made by lion steel so it is a lion steel fixed blade at the core and uh it does have really unusual and i think what puts a lot of people off to this knife initially is it's really weird ergonomics because you have this like really contrast kind of uh, semicircle here and this kind of like just drop but I will say uh, it, it's always fit my hand really well when you grab it and I think like when you're supposed to hold this knife like this or like when you hold the knife like this it feels comfortable natural it's kind of how you're supposed to hold it or like this you know and in those handle positions it really feels just fine i think the reason they cut this out is this is designed to be a tactical knife so if you hold it in like a modified ice pick grip um your hand actually really locks quite well it's kind of hard to show but like the kind of meat of your palm really locks very well into that kind of semicircle, giving you a really strong locked in grip for an ice pick hold so not necessarily saying that you know this knife is the greatest fighting knife ever but i do really like the ergonomics and they were tastefully and i think thoughtfully done so that's what's kept in the collection and that's why it is my favorite fixed blade like i said it's kind of my favorite right now because of nostalgia like i've had it for nine years nearly 10 years and uh, it's a really cool fixed blade really cool uh, user and fun overall knife to have so so yeah, that, those are my two kind of favorite folder and fixed blade for the month. They are pretty cool blades to me and I'm glad that uh, I still have them or recently acquired them or put one back in the collection when it comes down to this paramilitary two. Really cool blade. Um, yeah, I just like them. They make me excited and they're pretty cool knives overall. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.